Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into open source applications and I've gotten a lot of feedback that these videos where I compare applications, they might get a little too long. So today I am trying to not ramble too much. We will start off with uh, four applications that I call honorable mentions. They are not on my like top three uh, list, but I think I still think they deserve a lot of praise. So let's start with those three applications so the uh, first one right here is app flowy app flowy is like the open source uh, notion you can just look at all of the different templates it is heavily around like databases uh, and uh, also pages so if you've used notion this will look really familiar um to you um the reason why i did not include this is just because there is a learning curve to it and also i've uh, heard a bit about some bugs that this application has uh, that you might want to keep in mind and i haven't been able to test out uh, the application and see uh, if uh, or i haven't been able to test out if the bugs are uh, really uh, a problem or not uh, so that's why I haven't included it but the main reason is just the learning curve. Logsec is an application that a lot of people are uh, familiar with. Uh, a little bit of the same stuff here there is a huge learning curve and there have been a, a few issues uh, and they are currently working on a database version that might be out by the time I am uh, or I have filmed this uh, video uh, right here or published it. So today I'm filming it October 12th in my, the database version is like really close. So it might be out by the time I publish um, this video and that is supposed to be a lot more stable. But that is like the main reasons why I did not include this. But uh, honestly, this is an application I'm looking at to like use as my daily driver when the uh, when the database version comes out, I will probably do a full review on this. I will also do a full review on AppFlow before the end of the year. Standard Notes is another one. Um, this has, like, is the simplest one. The main reason I did not include this is, um, like, the free plan will get you everything you need, but I think the pro plan is, like, aggress aggressively priced. That is probably how I'm going to put it. I think uh, it is a little expensive for what you are getting. And also, the application is just so simple that I don't have a lot of things to say about it. It is just a place to take notes. Imagine, like, Apple Notes just uh, much more uh, private and probably with a few more uh, features, as you can see right here. I am. Um, I really like this as a simple note-taking app, but uh, in order for me to actually make a video and like talk about the applications, I uh, decided to uh, not include this because it is just really, really simple. And uh, like for many people, they might need something more. Uh, a lot of people can get away with this, but um, this is probably the one that was closest to be on the list. Uh, and Hitype, main reason for not including this is the huge uh, learning curve, like this took me so long to learn. It is one of my favorite applications and I actually use this uh, a lot uh, when I first started out. They've made some changes to their uh, pricing plan, which I will probably have to do a video on. Uh, but um, I used to really enjoy uh, this application. I've made a bunch of videos on it and I uh, really like it. Uh, main reason for me not using the application myself is just because the, just because there is no web version which I need uh, on, in my day job on my work computer. So uh, that covers the ones that didn't get through. Uh, let's jump into the ones that did and let's start off with a fine or a fiend. I still don't know how you pronounce this, but uh, let's just quickly look at the pricing here. This one you can self host, uh, but there is also a free uh, forever plan which gives you unlimited local stuff like local workspaces, docs, editing, a uh, little bit of cloud storage. Uh, this gives you a lot more cloud storage, uh, 100 gigs, more uh, 
uh, or bigger file uploads and also uh, more collaboration there is also a team plan and this is the pricing when it is built monthly and not annually there is a believer plan as well and there is also an ai add-on um which is around eight i think it's nine eight point nine dollars so nine dollars each month the believer plan uh gives you just like everything forever lifetime personal usage and one terabyte of cloud uh, storage uh the reason for why i like this application so it has like journal uh stuff like daily pages uh is what you call them uh, i'm currently not signed in so i'm using this application locally like it has daily pages uh right here which i know a lot of people uh like it has bi-directional links as you can see right here it has um a bunch of like cool stuff and it looks a lot like notion if i open one of my docs it actually has uh, some of the same like database features as you would see in uh something uh like notion so if i just search for table viewer database i can actually go ahead and create a database and actually add a bunch of different like column types checkbox date number progress select link text attachments member created by so um this would be great in my case for like youtube uh video ideas like i could do uh, i could write my youtube scripts in here uh which is something i really would like i can also go ahead and open this up in full screen and create a linked box so uh here you can see that i have uh like i have a bunch of stuff i can do here i can like start writing in here i can link this to another docs which i said which was probably what i would do i can also start with edge less and that is what i wanted to cover here so let's go ahead and put this into full screen so this is my youtube ideas what i really like about this application is the whiteboarding ability so this is a full-fledged whiteboard where i can put a bunch of stuff i can draw um, even though I probably shouldn't, I can highlight things. There are a bunch of things I can do in here. I can create frames just like a regular, uh, whiteboard. Uh, you can use this just, uh, like that. Um, and I know that a lot of people like this, but what makes this really, really good is that I can also go ahead and I can add like new, uh, parts of, uh, this script so let's say i'm working on a script and i want to add something to that script i can actually go ahead and i can add like real notes um so uh this is uh this is a note i still can't spell um we will just have to go for this one and what i can do is that i can press display on page um and it will actually show up in my page and i can like work from within here and like add a bunch of stuff and my whiteboard and the things i add in my whiteboard will actually be displayed on my page which is great for things like article writing or uh things like uh in my case youtube scripts longer essays projects things like that that is what i really like about this application and even though there is a learning curve i decided to include this because i feel like this application does not get enough uh credit for what it is actually doing it is such a good application and it deserves a lot more praise for uh this like edgeless into page mode and giving you really well integrated uh whiteboards inside of an application like this it is also uh of course open source uh so i think that covers up a fine let's jump into notes nook uh quickly on the pricing here this is regional pricing so it might differ so i will only touch on like what you get here um you get uh, you have an essential a pro and a believer plan uh which uh gives you different amount of storage file sizes and also the essential limits you to 500 notebooks but you would probably not need more than 500 notebooks it doesn't give you full quality images and also uh, doesn't give you app lock there is five year options for this yearly options for this and monthly options for this so it all depends on how much storage you need and how many files you're actually going to uh, use in here um this is notes nook uh if you've used evernote this is basically uh 
looking a lot like Evernote. You have like your notebooks right here. I can go ahead and I can add a new notebook. I'm currently on the free plan, I think. So here you have a notebook. I can actually add a new note inside of my notebook. I can give this note a title. So let's say uh, notes nook video uh, like this. You can add tags. So let's add the apps tag. Um, I have a bunch of things I can do. So I can press this uh, plus to get different blocks to insert. And here you have everything from like task list to code block, math formulas, which I will probably never use, um, quotes, images, attachments, embed, and table. That is uh, the things you are uh, getting here, uh, the different blocks. And you can like go ahead and you can uh, write in here. Uh, what I does not uh, do not like about this is there is no backslash functionality and also uh, the markdown uh, stuff. Uh, I am not really happy about those two things, uh, but like you have um, good uh, formatting options up here and using the plus button, I would just love if this were, or like uh, this worked. That is a little annoying uh, for me personally, but you might, you might not be. <laughs> <laughs> You might not be bothered by it at all. Um, so that is basically it uh, for this application. It is basically everything it does. It is end-to-end -end encrypted. So that uh, might be important to you. It has backlinking, but the backlinking isn't like the easiest way of uh, backlinking. I don't necessarily like it. It is basically just putting a link inside of here. I've talked about the tags, like you can open up your different tags. It has something called monographs, which is basically a private way of sharing notes. So published notes can be encrypted, which means only you and the person you share the password with can read them. That is also a really nice uh, feature. This application, just like Affine, is also local uh, first. So like uh, you can have... Um, you can use this offline as well. I'm currently using the web version, uh, but I have tested out the desktop uh, version as well. So the last application on this list is Joplin, and this is the pricing plan. I actually went out and just screenshotted it. Uh, you have the basic, the pro, and the teams plan. Um, these are the cloud uh, plans. You can also self-host this. You get 10 megabytes per node. Uh, again, it is mainly storage space um, that uh, differs. And also the pro plan gives you things like email to note, customize the note publishing banner and share notebooks with other, which you don't get on the uh, basic plan here. And you can see how much each one of these costs. And there is also a Teams uh, plan. So the way Joplin works is that you have uh, these two uh, buttons right here. This is like um, the normal writing mode and you have the markdown mode. So I can choose whether or not I want to work in markdown or I want to work just uh, by writing. Uh, I can change back into this regular one here and I can like uh, press the buttons instead of formatting using Markdown. That is a fun uh, little feature. It has the same like structure as uh, as Evernote, so I can add a new uh, notebook right here. So let's call this notebook. You can pick an emoji. So let's just do this one. Press OK. Add a new note. Uh, here you have, as I said, a bunch of different options. Uh, you can uh, highlight. You can strike through. Uh, you can uh, have code blocks, uh, you can add files, and I think this is uh, an important one because uh, this application has, um, it has OCR, which means that text within images are actually able to be uh, searched, uh, which I know is important to a lot of people. Um, that is also like the main reason a lot of people use something uh, like something uh, like Evernote. It does not have the ability to search for like written text, but you can uh, write uh, if you ever wanted to, but uh, it is not uh, as good uh, for um, for uh, written text. That is actually something they are currently working on. But you have the ability to 
draw things if you ever wanted to do uh, that. This has been like an all-time favorite among uh, a lot of people. A lot of people love uh, Joplin and I completely understand why because it is really simple yet powerful. It has been around for a long time now um, and it has a bunch of features that just makes it really good like the ability to add tags as well uh, you don't have to just use notebooks you have the blend between notebooks and tags so a bunch of things that does uh, make this application a really good choice that covers up my uh, three uh, open source applications my three favorite open source applications if you have any questions leave them down below i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for watching or listening to today's episode